So 14 years to become a surgeon. How did I stay motivated along this whole path? In this video today, I'm going to be talking about how to stay motivated along this long and challenging medical path. What's up everyone, this is Dr. Webb here. Thank you guys for watching this video. Make sure you subscribe. New videos coming every week, you don't wanna miss them. For those that are new to the channel, welcome. My name is Dr. Antonio Webb, an orthopedic spine surgery fellow. So, 14 years, that's almost half of my life. How did I stay motivated along this path to become a surgeon? To become a surgeon, it takes four years of college, four years of medical school, and six years of surgical training. And now that I'm in my last year of training as a spine surgeon, I wanted to give my thoughts and my advice about staying motivated along this path. It's very easy to lose hope and also look at the duration of the number of years that it takes to become a surgeon and just get discouraged along the way. You may see your former high school classmates or college classmates just living it up, enjoying life, traveling all over the world, purchasing these huge homes and cars, and you're sitting at home studying or in the library for hours on end. Well, how do you stay motivated throughout this whole process, despite everything else that's going around you, the external influences that are pulling you in different directions? Well, I used a number of things along this path. Number one, I think it's important to write down your goals. If you wanna become a doctor or a teacher, a lawyer, business person, a NFL player, NBA player, sports broadcaster, whatever it is that you want to do, I think it's important to write this down. And whether this is on a whiteboard, whether this is on a vision board or stickies all around the house, write down what you want to accomplish. I think when you see something written down on a piece of paper or on the wall or on the board, it helps you stay more focused and more motivated. Your end goal, what are you working towards? And if you see something that you wrote down, hey, I want to become a doctor, that's gonna motivate you and help you keep going despite wanting to give up and being discouraged along this path. The second thing that I think you need to do is actually see your goals. And in the medical school and along my path, this is what I did. Above my desk in medical school where I sat at home and studied, I have videos that talk about why I never went to class unless it was mandatory, and I'll put that right up here. But above my desk, I had a little sign that I kind of wrote out and drew that said, someone's life is going to be in your hands one day study like it. And the times where I felt less motivated, felt discouraged, didn't feel like studying, felt lazy, I looked at that picture and that sign and I thought about those patients in the hospital. And I asked myself, what if I'm in a situation in the hospital and the information that I'm learning now is something that is needed to take care of a patient or potentially save a patient's life? And whenever I read that message right above my desk, I immediately got motivated, got re-energized, and went straight back to studying. The second thing I did in medical school was actually get a long white coat and hang it up on my wall. And I know this sounds a little bit cheesy, but this is what motivated me. In medical school, you see the medical students walking around in short coats. Well, I always envisioned myself walking around the hospital in a long white coat. So to keep me motivated, those 12 to 16 hour study days, I had a white coat that I just looked at. And some people even put their name on the white coat with the initials MD or DO behind it just to motivate them to say, hey, this is what's coming if you continue working hard. Another thing that motivated me was thinking of my classmates. When I was at home and maybe six or seven hours in, and I was like, man, I don't feel like studying right now, or I want to go to the gym or go to the movies or go out. I thought of my classmates and I asked myself, what are my classmates doing at this point? They're probably studying or doing questions or reviewing notes and just thinking about someone else doing more than me 
at that particular time actually motivated me to continue studying, to do more questions, and to study longer. During my downtime in a medical school, between my breaks, I usually studied for about 50 minutes and then took a 10 minute break. During that time, I would usually watch medical shows like Grey's Anatomy, and I would imagine myself in the position of one of the actors. Like, hey, I'm in the hospital, I'm seeing the patient, what would I do with this patient? And whenever I heard a jargon or a word or a particular condition, I would always go look up that condition if I didn't know it. And having a message above my desk that said, someone's life will be in your hands one day, study like it. Those things really kept me motivated during my medical school years. And whatever it is that motivates you, whether it's monetary or watching YouTube videos of your favorite doctor or surgeon or nurse, paramedic, PA, whatever it is that motivates you, keep that item as close to you as possible. And the last thing that motivated me along this path when I was a medical student was actually going into the hospital. And whether this was shadowing an ER doctor or doing my clinical rotations, just going into the hospital, putting on my short white coat, and going to see patients, that was the highlight of my day. That's what motivated me and helped me along this path to keep going. And if you're a pre-med student, if you want to volunteer or shadow, I suggest that you do those things. Going into the hospital, being around the medical field, being around other physicians, medical students, and doctors, those things can motivate you and help you to keep pushing along this path. And now, in my last few months of training to become a spine surgeon, I think what motivates me is the gratification that I get from my surgeries that I do. In spine surgery, some patients come into the hospital or to our clinic or to ER, they have pain that they've been having for years. And this pain can be so bad and so crippling that it can force patients to be in wheelchairs because of their pain. And it's very gratifying to see these patients after surgery and they tell you that you have changed my life. I'm a new person now. Those times and those moments are the best moments ever. And it's what I live for. It's the reason why I went into spine surgery. So if you're a pre-med student, if you're in high school, if you're in college, if you're in medical school, if you're a resident, find something that motivates you, whether that is a picture, being around other doctors, watching other people, I suggest that you write down your goals, you're able to look at your goals, and that you're able to act out your goals. Write them down, look at them, go into the hospital, have something visible above your desk, at home, close to you that you can use to motivate you along this path. It's a long path, but it's definitely worth it at the end. So what are some things that motivate you guys? I would love to hear from you. This is Dr. Webb. Thank you guys for watching this video. Make sure you subscribe. New videos coming every week. We'll see you next time.